Good morning, this is Todd Traskos. I'm coming to you from River Road in Stockbridge, Vermont. It is about 7.30 in the morning. I'm doing this post in order to talk about the state of the road here. Now, while I understand that we are still living in a disaster area, and that the high level of traffic that we're seeing on this road due to the closure of route, Vermont Route 107 is understandable and that while I have concerns about the dust, the noise, the danger to children and animals that live on the road, my biggest concern is the fact that the state refuses to make this road an official detour for Route 107 which means that they do not have to take any kind of responsibility for the care and maintenance of the road. That responsibility is falling to the town of Stockbridge. Stockbridge is a town of 600 people, less than 400 voters. We have a very small budget. The largest part of our budget is the school and the road. We have a two-person road crew and over 30 miles of road. Our two-person road crew showed up here put this sign out, because they're doing grading down below, at quarter to seven this morning. They are having to spend an inordinate amount of time maintaining this stretch of road while we have plenty of other roads of our own that need care. The issue is that the frequency of the traffic that's on this road right now is not Stockbridge residents. This is state traffic passing through Stockbridge just as it always has done for years on Route 107. Now Stockbridge took a very severe hit but from this flood. We lost a number of homes so there are going to be tax abatements from a tax base that is majority residential. We only have two small businesses in town. What that means is that the town of Stockbridge is footing the bill for state traffic on River Road which is essentially Route 107. Where this money is going to come from, I don't know. All I know is that Stockbridge residents are responsible for it. There are people that lost homes that are considering what they're going to do next, and they're actually considering not staying in Stockbridge because they're extremely concerned about what's going to happen to our tax rate situation here because of the road situation. So I don't know how else to say this, but if anyone's listening, at the state level, this road is the whole state's responsibility, not just Stockbridge's. We've already been hit pretty hard. Please do not make matters worse. Okay, good timing. That was VTRAN that just went by. As is to be expected, we are experiencing an extra high level of traffic due to construction on Route 107. Now, I'll be showing you some clips in a little bit of the traffic yesterday evening and then this morning, which starts at about 5.30. Pretty fast for V-Trans to be going by, wasn't it? This person's only slowing down because another car went by.
See now, generally cars coming from that direction go a little bit slower because the road is so much worse down there, at least as far as the big stone that's down where River Road fell through. People coming from this end, even though it says 25 miles an hour up there because the road is a little bit better coming off the pavement, generally go flying down this way at pretty good rates of speed. Okay, it's quarter of six in the morning. Okay, it's about 5 of 6. Okay, we're at 6.30. Oh, that looked like Fairpoint. Here it is, it is uh, just past quarter to seven, and our two-man road crew is getting prepared to do some work here. Okay, it's just past seven o'clock here. Now, as far as we've heard, Route 107 is not going to be available until Christmas time. So that's still a couple of months away. Stockbridge is a very small town. The biggest part of our budget is the school and the roads. We have a two-person road crew who showed up with a sign this morning at quarter of seven because they're doing grading down below. Stockbridge, who has taken a very severe hit from this flood, is now in charge of maintaining what is essentially a state road. So how we're going to pay for this, I'm not sure. Because I know that our guys are being tied up to an extraordinary degree maintaining this piece of road. In fact, here comes some gravel now that we're having to place here. 
because the three inch minus stone that's being used to cover the road down below is endangering tires, windshields, and vehicles in general. So this is something that as far as I know we are footing the bill for. Where the money comes from, again, we don't know. Given the fact that we're going to have tax abatements from a number of buildings that were washed away in the flood, my feeling is, is that Stockbridge is in a very bad position already and the state is making it worse.